So Mufti, Mufti Shafi Sabah Rahmatullahi Alayhi, he's mentioning a story that he heard from Mana Shafi Tani Rahmatullahi Alayhi. So he said that, that one person, he came to Nizamuddin Awliya. He came to Nizamuddin Awliya. And he said his intention was that I want to uh, join the become Bayit to Hazrat and to take benefit from him. So he hadn't met him as yet. He came from a long journey. Now we're very lucky. On one street, we have like 10 masajid. We have uh, so many shuyukh of hadith. We have so many mashayikh. We're so lucky. Like, so it's one street alone. We have, you know, very fortunate in one city. But in those times, or in certain cities, to meet a sheikh, you have to travel very far and wide. Even nowadays, we have the ulama, they travel to give lectures and deliver lectures. Really, the duty was that we should have traveled towards them to listen to their lectures, listen to their bayana. We become so accustomed to luxury that uh, instead of them coming to us, even when they come to give lectures, we say, I listen to the recording, I'll watch it, you watch, watch it on Double Speed on YouTube, you watch the beginning of five minutes and then we just click, skip it. So we should actually go, we should, we should be, it's our duty to learn deen, we should travel to them, sit in their company. This is how it was in the past in certain places. So this person traveled to Nizamuddin Awliya, with this intention that I want to become a student and uh, learn from him. So he, he arrived and him and his partner, they sat at the house to do wudu. So in our times, we have taps. When you're on the top, then the wudu comes out. What they would have, they have like a, a house that's like a little lake, like a little lake or a small stream or a pond of water, a pond, you could say pond. So the two friends who have traveled, one of them said to the other, that the pond here is much larger or much small. The pond here is either much larger or the pond in our city or our thing is much, one of them is much larger, much said word much, bara, is much larger than the one here. So Nizamuddin Awliya heard this, and but they, hadn't, they didn't know it was him or they hadn't. After Salah, the two people who traveled, so one of them went to him and said, said, I want to become your student and I want to, you to you know, become my life coach, become a student and I learn from you. So he said, before Salah, you were speaking and you said that this uh, pond here is much larger or this the pond in our village is much larger than the one here. So what I want you to do is, have you measured them? Have you measured these ponds or this house for Wudu? He said, no. He said, I only accept you as my student. If you measure this one, go back to your city, measure that one and tell me if it was actually is much larger. <laughs> you follow what he said? So he was, he was a, he was a sadiq. He actually, you know, he really wanted to. So he said, if he's telling me this, I will do as he said. So he went back, he measured it. And it was only about a foot or two difference. So he came back and he told him, so he said, what happened when you measured it? He goes, only um, uh, what, what, either one of them was a, was a foot or so ponds are large in it, like yards, multiple yards. And so he said, you said much larger. So why do you say much larger? And you measured it, it was only one of two foot difference. So why do you say much larger? That means you have no consideration over what you speak. You, when you say things, you're not careful in your speech. You understand? So after mentioning the story, Mashaikh Tanya Rahmatullah Ali is saying that the Mashaikh is not only the Tasawwuf and Rak Islam, it's not only, it's very important about the Dhikr, the Hajjud, the Tilawa, all of these are very, very important things. But along with this, it is also very important to train people to make sure that the other things that you do, you conduct yourself correctly, what you say in your speech. And sometimes it, it's, not, it's, not the, it's not the Shaykh's fault, it's not the Tasawwuf's fault, it's that people just don't understand. Like, you have like you have a big imam, a big imama, big tasbih, big thikr, and you're running up your business, but you don't pay people on time. So the dhikr and your talawa, I mean that's up to Allah, we can't decide on this. But the main that those are nawafil. If you're an employer, you're employing somebody, you should be paying them immediately. Why is there a delay in pay? This is wrong. This is it's a haram. Do you understand? Uh, you you, you go to all these majalis and dhikr and talawa and all of this and then you park your car and you block somebody's garage. This is impermissible. That person now wants to get out. They can't get out of the house. They block, they stuck. All of these small, small things. And I mentioned this story before. That is one of Hazrat Hanu Rahmatullah, a student. He came to him with his son. And his son was about 16. 
I don't know the exact age, but let's say for example, he was over 16, our age, in our time, that 16 is like an age, or 18 is the age, adult. If you're over this age, you have to pay the full fee, under this age, you have to pay. So when he came to me, Mawlana Shafiq, the first question he asked, how much did you pay for him in his ticket? He said, he looks, he said, he doesn't look like 15, he's 16. If you paid under, you've cheated the system, this is haram. They got very upset with him. So all of these things are very, very important. When we say something, even, even when we're joking, when we're speaking, we should make sure that we, we are very, like it's a joke, we're laughing, but remember, deen doesn't only start in our masjid, or in, or in a khanka, or in a majusa. Deen is everywhere. Are you following me? So even if you're outside, if you're outside playing, if you're playing, if you're playing table tennis, and if the ball bounces twice, and you lie there, then uh, that means that you don't have taqwa. You can play as much as you want, be as competitive as you want, try to win as much as you want, but if you lose, say, oh, I lost. You know, the ball bounced twice. I didn't, it didn't bounce. It hit the net. It didn't hit the net. You're playing football. If you hit your hand, you can say, well, I didn't, in, you can argue, I didn't intend to hit the handball, but it did touch my hand. Don't lie. Just let it be a penalty. You know, it, even if it was a World Cup, you're not playing a World Cup when you're playing in the park. Nothing's going to happen. But they say, yeah, I touched my hand, but I, I, didn't, I didn't move my hand towards the ball. But don't, even then, you should have taqwa. You're, you're, you're playing cricket. You can say quiet. If, it's, if, they, if, they, if you edge the ball and they, didn't, they, and they didn't appeal, you can just say quiet if you want to. But even then, you said, Taqwa is like, I edge the ball, so I'm out. Taqwa is not only in the masjid. Taqwa is, not, taqwa is everywhere. Khuluq is everywhere. Khuluq, good character. So good character is not only, oh, there's, there's uh, brothers have come, there's a sheikh here in Malana in front of me, let me be kind to him, let me open the door for him. If you're driving a car, somebody wants to get through. If you let somebody through like in that junction, that's a good deal as well, isn't it? That's also there. So you, you, you have road rage, anger. Like when you have you say anger, control your anger. La taqdab. La taqdab means when you're driving and you get road rage, you just control yourself then as well. It's not only la taqdab, like, you know, to, like when you're at home or when you even then. It's like, nah, control myself. I'm very angry. So getting angry is not a problem. But controlling your anger is necessary. So deen is a very, very, it's encompassing all parts. Not only like one thing. So taqwa applies everywhere. Do you understand? So this is why you have to learn that along with, I'm not saying that zikr and tilawa and that's not important. These are all important. But taqwa should apply throughout your entire life. Everything you do. The way you drive a car, the way you play sports, the way you speak to somebody, you speak to somebody elder, you speak to somebody younger, and all of these things to make sure that we have good character. Do you understand?